Your next comic's been coming very uh, consistently. They're very funny. Give it up for Mitch Nelson, everybody. Oh, that's tough. Okay, well, let's see. Wait, let's break this down. Oh, you know what? Let's use the wall. Oh, my gosh. There we go. That's even better. Mitch Nelson, everybody. Man, that was awkward. <laughs> it made me a little nervous. So uh, you guys get this story. It's my nervous story. I'm a gadget guy. I like to play with, uh, you know, tech and toys and stuff. I was trying to do computer science, but there was too much math back in the 80s. So, uh, but I still like to play with all the little toys, you know, the tech stuff. But anyway, I moved uh, recently to uh, Olympia, and uh, the only place I could find in that room to put my phone is at the foot of my bed. And so I got it all set up. I stood it up and you know found an app to make it be like an alarm clock so I could still see what time it was. But uh, as soon as I laid down and got comfortable, uh -huh, a text came. <laughs> I had to get all the way up and go figure out what was going on. So the next night I got home and I started playing with the laptop because it's got a longer cord. I could reach it you know, right next to the bed. So I was playing with the laptop and I found this remote app. I was so excited I got all the, uh, you know, I could see who was calling and ignore it or get up and decide to answer it, and I could answer some texts and everything. And then I saw this other icon, uh, a camera. And so I flipped it on, and th then I screamed and threw the computer off to the side and forgot I was naked. <laughs> Big old fat, ugly looking dude on the screen. <laughs> So uh, yeah, like I said, that's my nervous story because I heard that uh, if you're if you're doing a presentation and you're nervous, you're supposed to have the audience imagine you're naked. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so far it seems like it's working. This is great, um, but I do miss Utah. You guys might be surprised that uh, one of the things I really enjoyed uh, down in Utah was I got into uh, ice climbing and. Uh, so I'm out there ice climbing one day, and um, you know I learned it from rock climbing. You know, had some uh, there's other stories about that, but it was fun. I was getting up there, and then as I was trying to chop a hole in the ro in the in the ice to get another grip, I hit my own rope, and I started Whoa. sliding, and I'm screaming down the hill, and I'm grabbing anything I can, and it's really hard with these hands, but I'm trying to grab anything I can, <laughs> and finally I'm hanging by these two fingers right here. And, and I'm thinking, wow, I am not built for this hobby. <laughs> but what put the nail in the coffin on, on that was, uh, was more of the rock climbing side. I was the belayer, and uh, my, my guy slipped, and I could not get a good grip on that rope. <laughs> I tried, and so he came down, and I, I had to go up. I ran up to him, and I was like, dude, dude, how many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> and he didn't know, so I was like, oh, CPR. spikes on still, and I killed him. And, uh, that's why I have to move to Utah, or I mean, move to Washington from Utah. I'm not allowed that. So, anyway, I decided I'd go back to something I know really well, and I'm just going to go back to my old standby, teaching American Sign Language. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. <laughs> Gosh.